Good morning, everybody. This is the Bill Senior Show. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was just... gone for one day, and I swear if you hadn't took over, and now you're scheduling guests for me. Yeah. Well, Do you want to introduce your guest today? Yeah, I've got a new friend that I think all y'all are going to really enjoy. His, uh, his piano playing is tremendous. He plays the trumpet. I don't know what else you play besides the radio, but uh, mm -hmm. he's been all over the world playing for people, kings and queens and presidents and all that stuff. But anyway... Uh, he's my friend Andy King. Let's welcome him this morning from good Wilmington, morning. North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, now, good morning. There's no good way to get here from Wilmington, North Carolina. It's about seven and a half hours. You so. had to go through Atlanta. I'm afraid I did. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. At least it was Sunday. I yes, came in a day yes, early. Yes, exactly. So. Exactly. So you got to spend the night with Bill and Melissa. I did, and we had a great time. Yeah. I got to see all the big sites in Jasper, Georgia. Oh, so wow. It was a good time. So <laughs> yeah, that was a long trip, yeah. wasn't it? Now, did you get to hear the rushing creek beside their house? I did. Isn't that cool? I did. Isn't it's that cool? beautiful yeah. there. Yeah, I love it. Is. It. it is. I love the mountains, though. So I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a flat-footed coastal boy. Yep. So yep. I grew up about five miles from the Atlantic Ocean. So Gosh. we always went to the mountains mm -hmm. for vacation. Mm -hmm. so Something about it. I, I hear it. there's an addiction. I hear once you come to these mountains, you fall in love with it. It's beautiful. Well, today, one of the first things I want to do is we have a prayer request for a lady, and I'm not going to disclose her name, but I will tell you, she's been battling cancer. Mm -hmm. And I got a call from her on Saturday, and I said, today's program is going to be dedicated to her because you're going to do some really awesome music. Mm -hmm. She loves Southern gospel music. You also do country music, right? I do. Yeah. And if we threw it at you and said, can you do When a Man Loves a Woman, could you do that one too? Perhaps. See, so he's versatile. Oh, can play it. He's I know some, versatile. Man. I know some Percy Sledge. Music. Yes, I know Percy Sledge personally. <laughs> I love that man. I love that man. He's wonderful. But this song and today's program goes out to a special lady who, for nine years, has battled cancer, oh. and it's really, really, she's, it's really getting to her. She has an MRI scheduled on Wednesday, so we're going to pray her through this, Absolutely. and we're going to say everything is going to be well. So I just think that it's perfect that number one, the Bill Senior Show. <laughs> is happening and you brought in somebody who can sing and who can play because I can do neither and I love when You're people walk for in the reason. studio they can do what I can't do oh. and I was talking about it this morning if you can sit down at a piano and play from ear oh, I love it now did you have lessons do you play by ear both both that's I what I love both. that's I had what to I learned love. both so I had two people who came here and they said, oh, what a beautiful piano. And I said, why don't you play it? And they said, I don't have any music with me. And I said, do what? Oh boy. <laughs> because most yeah. of the people I know play both. Yeah. Play both. So did you take lessons because your mama made you or did you take lessons because you wanted to? Mama uh, made you. Mama made me and I started when I was five. Wow. And by, wow. That's by, a baby. <laughs> yeah. By age nine, I really wanted to quit. Really? So my mom told me, she said, if you'll pick up another instrument in elementary school band, mm -hmm. which was fourth grade, mm -hmm. she said, I'll let you quit. Oh, and so cool. I picked up trumpet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized after a couple of years that trumpet and piano and music is all related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, I found a, a gospel piano method mm -hmm. called the Henry Slaughter Gospel Piano Method. There were six records and six books really? for the whole chorus. And um, I was able to learn how to play gospel piano using the hymns. And that is a different technique. It is. Very different. It is. Yes. That's my technique. I love that. Yeah. But that particular um, course taught you how to play by note in the right hand and by chord in the left hand. I'm so confused. And now. it was a good I'm thing. I'm so confused. Now. It was a good thing. You just kill me. It was I'm a so good confused. thing. And you learned from some of the greats too. I, I did. Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah. Jeff Stice and um, 
what a what a great player Charles Novell, oh, mm -hmm. great player Carol Hill, mm -hmm. just wonderful Jeannie Cameron. A lot of wonderful, wonderful players over the years have taught me. Now let's talk about some of the groups that you've been with because I don't think anybody does Shout in Time any better than the Hoppers do. Yeah. The Hoppers, that is their song, that is their place of peace, that is you want to hear it over and over and over. How many times in the years that you were with them did you have to play that song? Every night, several times. <laughs> yes, Every yes, night, several yes, times. Yes. Uh, what a wonderful song and a yes. wonderful family. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. You know, when you live on a bus with people, you really get to know them. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I am proud to say that the Hoppers are the same people on that bus yeah. and at home as they are. They represent Christ everywhere they yeah, go. They, they so, are so amazing, wonderful. so amazing. Yeah. Now, I understand, I, you know, I hate smoking. I just mm -hmm. hate cigarettes. They took my mama <laughs> from me. Yeah. But my mama probably smoked as many cigarettes as anybody. But I don't think you know somebody who smoked more cigarettes than my mama. Is that the truth? Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine Did so. Did he put a bunch of cigarettes on a bus? Yeah. How Mr. Many JD, uh -huh. Mr. JD Sumner. He, JD he Sumner. put 200 packs on, At on the bus. Today's dollar. Yeah. Okay, how much is uh, a pack of cigarettes? Probably, Six dollars? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I how much money would bucks. that be? A thousand dollars to go? Today. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, he, he, that, uh, maybe that's how he got all those low bass notes. I guess. He was one well, of a kind for well, sure. Joe Brown but, smoked. Yeah, a yeah. lot of bass singers do. Yeah. And, and Andy yeah. was fortunate enough to travel with J.D. Sunday yeah. and Stamps later in his years, right? Yeah, it was, it was right at the end, so. Yeah. And he, act, he told me last night he actually played the last concert that J.D. ever did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Down I in got, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Well, yeah. I was going to say, I've only seen him. I saw he and Vestal and um, several other people with the Gaithers in Atlanta just before their deaths. It yeah. was so weird because all my life I've admired them and loved oh, them, yeah. but I never got to see them live. And I will just tell y'all, I won't get in so much trouble. I would much rather see them in a church setting than our seats were way up there. And you're like, who is that down there on stage? I don't like that setting. Give me an old-timey church. Give me a little bitty church that's packed full of people and a piano at the front of it. Still my favorite. Yes. That's still my favorite. That is the way to hear Southern gospel music. When you go to that big arena and you're going, what? Well, looks like Vestal. She's got that big old hair like I got. Got that big old hair, but... Honestly, it was like I wasn't even there. Yeah. It was weird. It was weird. From a from the standpoint of being on stage, I always like to be able to see the faces. Mm -hmm. I, that, that's something I draw off of. Well, at where our seats were, you couldn't see nothing of us because we were way up there in the bleachers, and yeah. that, that wasn't fun. That now, cur fun. currently, you're with a group called Carolina the Band. That's correct. And y'all yep. do gospel. You do a little country. We do. We, we really, our mission statement is faith, family, freedom. Mm -hmm. so, um, mm -hmm. so faith being first, but uh, family, we certainly need to uh, uplift families today. Oh, yes. And, oh, yes. and of course, our freedom as mm -hmm. a country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you go, is under attack. So if you folks can go to YouTube and pull up Carolina the Band, you can listen to some of their music. That's right. It's there great stuff. Check it out for sure. Now, yeah. do you write? Also, you sing, you play. Do you write? I do some writing. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't call myself a prolific writer, but an amateur. Okay. But I love it. I love writing and arranging. And Do you write? things that just come to your head or do you think about a life's event and you want to put it to song? Normally it's something that has happened to me personally mm -hmm. or something I'm, I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a lot of low points for me mm -hmm. is, is when I, I feel uh, creative right. as far as writing, yeah. but, but also if I see someone else Sometimes it'll prick my heart and I, I feel led to like write mm -hmm. something. So. Well, it's it's so weird because I watched you and Kaylee, and thank you. It, it, Thursday was the best show. It was amazing. It's great. Y'all did a great, great job. I needed that day. I had a business decision I had to make, and I had to be in a meeting, and I was, you know, I'm stressing, and I'm studying, and I'm thinking, and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I've done this for so long, and I've done this for so long. What am I going to do? And so I made this business decision. And, and I thought, you know, we all walk down this path that we think is straight and narrow. No, it's not. No, it's not. The path is never straight and narrow. Right. There are kinks and curves and roadblocks and, and uh, cliffs that you go over. You go over that cliff, but you come, you crawl back out of that, you know, you get in the gorge and you're like, 
okay, I see the top of the cliff. That's right. And you come back. You come back. So no matter what you're facing, you come back. I sent a message to a gentleman today, and he had gone through something pretty bad. And, and I just said, just hold on. Just hold on. And I'm the best. I've held on. And I'm still here. Yeah. You know, I'm still here. You think about there are times that you do just, and, and a song, often, you'll hear this song, and it'll bring you from this dark, dark spot. Right. And, and we know that with Resurrection Ground. How many people have stood at a grave and said, yeah, it really is Resurrection mm -hmm. Ground. Right. He made me a little envious last night. We were talking at my house in my living room, and he was telling me about some of the people he shared the stage with over the years. And mm -hmm. he brought up the names Gladys Knight, uh, <laughs> Percy Sledge. Wow. wow. Uh, Archie, was my... Archie Bell. Yes. And the drills, tighten up. Yeah, tighten do the up. tighten up. <laughs> tighten he can up. still dance as good as he I wants to. I love that song. <laughs> Give I us some more people you shared uh, the stage. Jerry Butler. Yes, uh, yep. So uh, then in the jazz world, Slide Hampton. Wow. Um, just, just a lot of wonderful memories. And mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, I take that with me everywhere I go. Yeah. But you've actually got to drive the bus a lot of miles too for Well, you know, if if you get in the music business and you want to stay in it, you have to learn to wear a lot of hats yes. and driving the bus is yeah. one of those things. Yeah. So yeah. I've driven many, many miles and yeah. uh, thankfully uh, without any accidents. What's your favorite bus to drive? If um, if you had to say that was the bus that I stepped onto it and went, Wow. Wow, wow, that was the best. Well, uh, probably the Hopper's bus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As, as it was so well maintained. It was like a, a brand new bus, and mm -hmm. they just they took very good care of it, and uh, of course they, they use it so much, but yeah, uh, yeah. It, uh, it, it drove just so, so beautifully. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful bus, but these days, I'm happy not to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime I don't have to drive a bus, I'm happy. Now, so. how far will the group that you're with go to do things? We'll go as far as we need to. Okay. Uh, the only limitation for our group, and it's I wouldn't call it a limitation, it's um, our baritone singer who is the co-owner. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, his name is Scott Whitener. Mm -hmm. That name goes way back to the Singing Americans days. Yeah. He, was, he was with the Singing Americans. Mm -hmm. And uh, Scott is a pastor mm -hmm. in Gastonia, North Carolina. Got to be in church on Sunday. And then the other co-owner is, uh, we call him Doc Roberts, but his name is Chris Roberts. Mm -hmm. And he sings tenor in the group. And he is also a worship pastor. And he is at a church currently in Lattimore, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And he also is a professor at Fruitland Bible College. And he's been there for many years. Wow. And he wow. teaches worship. So Gosh, so, so so y'all can't travel very far. We have you to be back on grounded. Sunday. Yeah, so, yeah. So sometimes we fly, but most of the time it's by bus. Mm -hmm. so. Flying. Have you been to an Atlanta airport lately? I have. have yeah. You? That is I have. Like the oh, it's not as bad as LAX. Travel. You know, <laughs> it's, it's the busiest airport. I think in yeah, the world. It is. Yeah, it I, is. I just watched yeah. a documentary on it. Yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. It's crazy. He told me an interesting story, if you don't mind telling him, the uh, J.D. Summer and the Stamps uh, Elvis story about them, him flying them to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So Elvis wanted to record. Uh, at the time, RCA was recording Elvis there at Graceland mm -hmm. in the Jungle Room. In fact, you can go buy the Jungle Room sessions these days mm -hmm. on CD or mm -hmm. download it. But uh, Elvis wanted the Stamps to come and record with him. Normally Elvis recorded at night during that time. And um, he called JD and said, I want you guys to be here tonight at midnight to start recording. And JD said, I'm in the bed at midnight. <laughs> well, no. you know, they were over in Nashville. So they said, well, you, we'll come. Uh -huh. You know, we'll, we'll be right there as soon as we can. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a date over in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, tomorrow night mm -hmm. and Elvis said well I'll tell you what if you'll come over record with me I'll have my small plane ready and I'll fly you to Fort Worth you do your concert come back and we'll record some more so Gosh. that's exactly what they did yeah and uh, the stamps came back in the next night after the concert in Fort Worth and Elvis said how was the how was the concert I said, oh, it was great. It's just a wonderful time. Lots of people there. I was said, well, how did you do? How, what, did you make some good money? He said, oh, yeah, we did. We did good. Yeah. He said, well, how much money did you make? And he said, 
we made about seven hundred dollars. And <laughs> Elvis just laughed and laughed. He said, I, I spent about thirty six hundred dollars to get you there. there. <laughs> I would have just paid you the money and you could have stayed and recorded. Yeah. Of yeah, course yeah. the stamps wanted to be there. Yeah, um, yeah. That, the Fort Worth, that particular concert was a really big concert back then. So. I think I actually have Elvis forty fives with the stamps on them. Oh really? I think wow. I have some of those. I happen to have been Elvis's greatest fan. I thought I would die when he went away. Oh. Because his, you know, growing up with the music, the movies, everything, out of everybody you've ever been around or listened to, who's your favorite? Oh, well, I was an Elvis fan growing up. Mm -hmm, I, I listened mm -hmm. to Southern Gospel and Elvis. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. pretty much that all yep. that I listened to <laughs> ever. Yeah. I yeah, a lot in common with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I also loved the Beach Boys, yeah. but certain songs. And then I loved, I loved Percy Sledge. I loved Lil Anthony and the Imperials. Mm -hmm. I loved that, just a variety of stuff. Sure. And I could go to a jukebox and I could play this and people would look like that woman chose that <laughs> arrangement of all those songs because I would yeah. get to a lot of different things. But it's like Archie Bell and the Drills. That is the coolest music. That oh, is feel good music. It's wonderful music. Yeah. And over the years, when I became a teenager, I started listening and branching out and listening to other styles. And um, it's all related. And I mm -hmm. learned something from all of it. Mm -hmm. But old soul music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, most of it is derived out of the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, those all those singers came from from church. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you can hear it in their voice. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Now speaking of soul. Soul and Inspiration by the Righteous Brothers. Mm -hmm. Never <laughs> been a better listen to, sit back, just, oh my gosh, what those two men together. Once one was gone, the magic was gone. Yeah, yeah. and that Known is so the weird. Blue-eyed brothers of soul. Yeah, yeah, they were so amazing, but, but together they were amazing. Apart and somebody else trying to step in, it didn't work. Right. It didn't work. They needed the magic of each yeah. other. Right. You know? yeah. That's right. It was, uh, yeah, that was something else. And Connie, that time was wonderful for music. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the best. many different times. Yeah. But American music really flourished during that time. Yep. Yep. Really and Connie Hopper and I have something in common. He told me that her favorite singer of all time is Karen Carmody. Oh that's my gosh, mine, that's so. awesome. That's right. yeah. Yes, you've always loved her. Such a pure yeah. tone yeah, Karen yeah. had. And when I listened to Miss Connie sing, um, there are little elements about her voice. She's such a pure tone singer mm -hmm. that that now that she's told me that, I think about. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can yeah. see why yeah. Karen might be one of her favorites. Yeah. 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 Well, let me ask you this: Are the Harpers still full time singing? Yes, they are. That is amazing. They I'm not going to say age because I know my age, and I bet you Connie's older than me. I know your age too. Yeah, shush now. <laughs> I, I would say I, I think close to 65 years uh -huh. out in singing. ministry. Yes, yeah. yes. So Isn't that amazing? Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Well, well, they are some of the best. Well, we have a little gift for our audience today, and it's something that Tim put together of just these back roads and you won't get to be here long enough for t us to take you out on the dirt roads back roads through the creeks but we would love for you to come back and we'd love to do that because there's something about writing music listening to music if you're taking the back roads you live in the perfect place to sit and listen to music yeah. but we want to show Tim took the drone and Tim took some time and he went out and we photographed some really cool shots here in Gilmer County we're gonna to get to share a little bit of that with y'all. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna do a commercial break, but we're gonna share some photos right now of my granddaughter this weekend. Y'all know I have Ansley, I have a great grandchild, and I have my precious Dawn. And Dawn captured a picture, look at that, with that baby holding oh, my cheek. Is my. that not the sweetest thing you ever saw in your life? Wow. She is all joy, and that's my great grandbaby. And she loves taters from Biggins. I will tell you, that baby ate a lot of taters and gravy. <laughs> so, That's good. <laughs> but we just had a good family outing, and there's her precious mama. And does she not look just like her mama? Goodness gracious sakes alive. She does. Such a joy and such a sweetheart. And, and I am so blessed, so blessed. And thank you, Lord, the sun was out. All weekend long, the sun was out. So we had a really, really good family day, and I'm so thankful for that. They were headed to a concert and didn't make it because we had a detour, and it ended up in a chicken pen. You know, there's something about chickens that just attracts us. But 
We're going to take a commercial break and we're going to share this little footage that Tim put together. And then when we come back, you're going to bless us with a bunch of music. Sounds great. I can't wait. Here right. we go. I'd rather be in a deep, dark grave and know that my You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. And here's a little song about those back roads that Miss Sherry was talking about. The sign says city limit, but you don't know you're in it for at least a mile. There's no tourist information, just an old filling station, service with a smile. 
It may look like the town that time forgot And if you look on the map, well, it's just a dot But for some of us, it's more than that and will always be Whoever said that you can't go home Ain't from where I'm from where there's a welcome man, yeah, you can count on that. And a glass of sweet tea, waiting on me. And the bed's turned down, and the light's left on. Whoever said that you can't go home? Folks say that the preacher and some of my old teachers been asking about me. They want to know how I'm doing. Think I'll run by and see them when I'm there next week. I might head to the lake with some buddies of mine. Grab a couple of poles and go cast a line. Got some friends back there. Stronger than time and will always be Whoever said that you can't go home Ain't from where I'm from Where there's a welcome mat Yeah, you can count on that And a glass of sweet tea Waiting on me And the bed's turning down and the lights left on Whoever said that you can't go home Yeah, and the bed's turned down And the lights left on Whoever said that you can't go home Here's an old hymn for you. I, I, uh, back during COVID, I decided that I would put some songs together that everybody that's been in church their whole life recognizes. And this one, I think you'll recognize this is called In the Sweet By and By. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. To our bountiful Father above, we will offer a tribute of praise. For the glorious gifts of His love And the blessings that hallow our day In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by Sure. In the sweet 
by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and All right. So I think it's time to take a little trip down to Texas Way. Uh, this is an old song called Just a Closer Walk with Thee, but we're going to do it Texas style today. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long, just as long. Let me walk close to thee just a closer walk with thee grant it Jesus is my plea daily walking close to thee let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Through this world of toils and snares, if I falter, Lord, who cares? Who with me? and share none but thee dear Lord none but thee just a closer walk with thee grant it Jesus is my plea Daily walking close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. When my feeble life is o'er, and time for me will be no more. Guide me gently to that shore, to thy kingdom, shore, to thy shore, just a closer walk with thee. is my plea daily walking close to thee let it be dear Lord let it be oh let it be dear Lord let it Walking 
close to me. Sing it with me. Let it be. I could do that. You can do it? No, I'm like, no. <laughs> the surprise I want you to do here is uh, not this song. I don't know what they're playing there, but uh, I wanted to uh, tell you that Miss Sherry's favorite song is the Old Rugged Cross. Oh, really? And I know you play some jazz styles. Can you yeah. give me a jazz version of the Old I'll Rugged tell you what, Cross? You sing it, not no, I want you to play it just for her. She's oh. going to tape it for you, and you just play it. Play the fool out of that piano. Okay, well, let's see what we can do this year. On a hill. I'm going to play one of my favorites, Miss Sherry, to go along with that. And this is going out to your friend that's struggling with her cancer. you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. We're back. Yeah. Awesome job. Awesome job. Awesome job. And thank you for throwing in that song because I love yeah. Old Rugged Cross. And, and thank you for, you know, we're sending this out to a lady who is battling cancer. There is an Old Rugged Cross and there is um, there has been a price paid and we are all going to be. Amen. Amen. We are all going to be blessed one day if you know him. That's and, right. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Now, tell me a little bit about your career from the bus to the driving to the singing to the writing, and then you did some stuff in Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I live about 55 miles north of Myrtle Beach. Bless South his Carolina. heart. God bless <laughs> yeah, his heart. We're suffering down <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I had the opportunity to work in a theater there called mm -hmm. the Carolina Opry. Mm -hmm. If you ever get a chance to go to Myrtle Beach, make sure you make your plans to go to the Carolina Opry. It's been there 37 years. Wow. And uh, it's really a show place and a mm -hmm. wonderful group of talented individuals. And they're like family. I spent five years there on the cast and uh, played and, and was able to sing a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, had a great time there. But my season ended, and it was time for me to take a leap of faith, mm -hmm. and uh, I joined up with Carolina. I always wanted to sing lead in a male quartet. And you're doing it. And I'm getting to do it I now. I love it. So I love it. Fun. Between that, and, and then I go out and do solo work, uh, do a solo ministry. Since mm -hmm. the guys are pastors, mm -hmm. that leaves Sundays. Uh, when I'm not at home, I'm able to travel mm -hmm. and do a Call solo him. work. There you go. So, there you go. So. Well, Harbor Ministries love, loves having you come and visit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they might have a piano there that you might could play, too. I love, so, love it. I love it. You know, it, it's about getting into those churches, that environment where you not only deliver a message in music and Matt Diver and Pastor this conversation a million times I said sometimes in song and in music you reach somebody that doesn't go to church hadn't been to church has never been to church but they happen to hear a song and it touches their heart and now you're going to touch our heart with some more music today but Sounds I wanted good. to ask you when when you were around Percy Sledge he he was the real deal for me he was yeah. like the real deal 
I did an interview with him and I just absolutely fell in love with him, but he was battling diabetes and we lost him way too soon, way, way too, soon. too soon. But you know, in his 70s, he was still traveling to Belgium. He was still traveling, loving and living his dream. Is that what you want to continue doing? Absolutely. Living that dream. It, it, in, a, in a perfect, perfect uh, dream for me would be, uh, I'm singing the day I take my last breath. Mm -hmm, I, I mm -hmm. really hope and pray that Perhaps God will allow that. If yeah. it's His will, that's what will happen. But yeah, uh, yeah. I love to sing, and I love to uh, use my gift that God gave me mm -hmm. to uh, to uplift to uplift Jesus. To number right. one. That's right. And uh, and then to uplift people. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, because there's somebody out there today, and this weekend I don't know what it was about this weekend, but my phone kept ringing, and people kept saying, "You've been such a blessing. You've been such a blessing." I'd had a really, really down time, and then all of a sudden, it's like God sent a message, and it was like this one called, and then this one called, and I'm like, really? And it was just, okay, then the sun came back out. Yeah. You know, it was such a blessing to me. It comes yeah. in bunches. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can lift each other. So now you're going to lift us again with some more music. So we're going to take a quick, little short, short blip it break, and then we're going to come back, and you're going to be back over there doing what you do, which okay. is magical. That sounds good. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. A song, an old, old church song called Are You Washed in the Blood? Have you been to Jesus for his cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully crying in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? All right. 
I love the old songs. They just speak to me. Always enjoyed it. Um, here's a song that Hank Williams wrote many, many years ago. It's called I Saw the Light. I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light, no more darkness no more in night now i'm so happy no sorrow inside praise the lord i saw the light just like a blind man i wandered alone worries and fears i claim for my own then like the blind man that God gave back his sight, praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light, no more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just like a fool, I wandered astray. Straight is the gate and narrows the way. Now I have traded the wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Praise the Lord, I saw the All right, one more song for you. Um, I've certainly enjoyed being with you guys today. Uh, just what a wonderful opportunity. And uh, I think I'm going to just end with a song that talks about heaven. One of these days, if you have given your life to Christ, we'll be able to put on a crown, and we'll be able to walk around all over God's promised land. Old Tony Gore song. I am on my journey to that city for square and by faith and the love of God I surely will enter there and some glad tomorrow with the saints I'll stand I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land oh glory what a wonderful day I'll sing the song of the blood-washed throne while the ages roll away. When I get to heaven on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Well, no more dying, no more trouble nor strife. We will live through the ages by the beautiful tree of life. 
When I join that chorus, heaven's happy band, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, what a wonderful day. I'll sing the song of the blood-washed throne while the ages roll away. When I get to heaven on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, what a wonderful day. I'll sing the song of the blood-washed throne while the ages roll away. And when I get to heaven on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at Discover the Forest. Well. All right. <laughs> We're, We're back. On. Okay, now let's give information. How will people get in touch with you? If somebody wants to invite you to your, their church, you would love to come and minister through music, through a message. Let's do it. Give your information. Absolutely. They can contact me by email at andykingmusic at yahoo.com. You can call me. My personal cell phone number is 910 area code 409-0783. Give me a call and you can check out my website. It's andykingmusic.com. There you go. Now, although he is single technically, he is dating one of my daughter's friends that oh, worked at the theater there. So Absolutely. yeah, he's got a girlfriend. Yeah, and she's that? a wonderful singer too, yeah. just like Kaylee's a yes, wonderful yes. singer. Yes, Kaylee is uh, amazing. She is. She the is, apple doesn't so. fall far from the tree. Well, she looks, she's no. got her mother's beauty in her Mother's beauty, voice. right, right. <laughs> How about that, isn't that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah, just, yeah. just got it going on. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, uh, uh, I, I am uh, dating Angela. Bush is her name, yeah, yeah. and she lives over in Sevierville, Tennessee, so uh, we do some singing together as well, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, I would love uh, Maybe for Maybe next time she could come and visit. Yeah, that would be, yeah, cool. that would yeah, be that awesome. Would be cool. She's yeah. got a wonderful uh, testimony and a wonderful gift. She can well. sing for you too uh, on the show. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, that's what today, let's start, Marvelous Monday started with just great music, just great music. Let's start a feel good week and let's just yeah. have a really, really good upbeat week. We all could use that. We've had that dismal winter and that dismal weather and oh yeah. And speaking of dismal weather, I'm talking to my granddaughter yesterday and I said, Tori, I really would love to fly out and be with there, there for your surgery on Wednesday. And she said, Nanny, it's nine degrees. I said, never mind. Alaska. I said, could you get a friend to stay with you? Yeah. It's in she Alaska. Said, of course, oh, yeah. My. It was nine degrees. And I said, Victoria, it is 70 here today and oh, it's wow. gorgeous. But, you know, you reach out and, and you want to be there and you can't, but you can be there through music. So the gift of music keeps giving back and keeps mm, uplifting that's right. people. That's right. It uplifts so, me every day. Every day. Every, every day. day. I put in something and I listen over and over and over. And, and you will love this. Selena and I had this conversation. I was always listening to gospel music coming to work one day. And one day I was just in one of those weird moods and I put in something else and I got kind of angry. <laughs> So sometimes the music sets the tone. It does. Yeah. The yeah. music sets the tone. So put in some good gospel music and stay upbeat and happy. That's Yay. right. I agree. Thank you so much for being here today, and thank you for for putting this together. I'll do some I know more. That you were the man. You were the man behind the magic. So thank well, you. Thank, thank you. you for having me. You're welcome. And again, this what will be treat. available on YouTube. And remember, it is YouTube. Just Sherry Martin, C H E R I E M A R T I N. I have three channels, but that's the one that this will go to. And just check us out and subscribe and watch all the antics. We've got some crazy stuff going on out at the farm. I was out on Uncle John's farm this weekend, and I might have posted some videos of some really cool roosters, so you need to check that out. I hope <laughs> I'll see you again tomorrow when Cock-a-Doodle-Doo won't be here, but I will be. See you again soon, only on ETC.